basically create form fields in Acrobat Pro. Let's get started. Did you ever wonder how you could do this? Type in a number and then actually have it calculated so that in this particular form we're going to have a total. This is our gross working capital. In other words, this is the number that we're starting with, this 1,000 number. And what we're going to do is we're going to add up all of these um, expenses to give us a number here. And then in the process, it's going to give us what our net will be. In other words, what the total expenses deducted from this 1,000 number will give us the what we're calling the net operating capital. Okay, so it just so happens that everything, all of our expenses are going to be 20. So I'm just going to start putting those in. Okay. Okay, very simple. Everything is 20. So if you notice, when I put in these numbers right here, they all added up to 160. And you can see that our net operating capital is 840. Let's talk about how we can make that happen. Do is we need to create our form fields in Acrobat. Uh, we'll be using Acrobat Pro. So what we want to do is we want to go over to the tools. We're going to go down to our prepare form tool. We're going to click on that. We'll say start. And at this point, you're going to see we have all of our tools, of course, here. And we also have some options on the side right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to close this down. And I'm going to start with the actual text tool. I click on that. I'm going to place this right here. All right. And then I'm going to make multiple. I'm going to make multiple frames out of this particular frame right here. But before I do that, I want to take a look at my properties. So I will do a right click and I'll say properties. And what I want to do for this exercise is I want to go over to options and I want to make sure that it's flush right like you see right here. All right, and you can make other adjustments in this area, but for right now, I just want to show you how you can actually set up these fields. Close. So that means that when text is input, when we put text into this field, it'll be flush right versus flush left. Next up, we're going to make multiple frames. All right, I know that there are 13 frames that I need to make, so I'll do a right click again, and then I'll say uh, create multiple copies. And at this point, I'll type in 13. I'll say OK. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to place these frames in these different spaces right here. So I'll start with the bottom one, put my finger in the shift key, drag it straight down to put it here. Then I'll get the next one and I'll bring it down and put it here. And then I'm going to grab all of these and just shift it down so that the first frame fits comfortably in that space right there. While I still have all of these form fields selected, and you can see they are selected because they have these blue lines going all the way around them, what I'm going to do now is I'm going to actually distribute these form fields so that they fill up this space here evenly. So as you can see, I have the top form field comfortably seated in this space right here. This last forms field comfortably seated in this space right here. So I'm going to right click. I'm going to drop down to where it says align, distribute, or center. Okay, and I'm going to slide down to where I say distribute vertically. So I'm going to click on that. And once I do that, you can see that all of these fields now, because I distributed them evenly, they actually fill up this area perfectly. As I want to start putting in the calculations into these form fields, or actually just a few form fields. So here's how we do that. Now, if you notice, each one of these fields 
they all have unique names. And in this case, they are just the word text with numbers after them. Now, this is very, very important because every form field has to have a unique identifier. You have the option. You can put in custom names or you could just keep the names that Acrobat sets up for you. In this exercise, I'm going to keep the names that Acrobat sets up because for me, it's going to be a little easier. But some actually, can you can name them with the names of these items here. All right, but I'm just going to keep it using what Acrobat gives me, and you'll see why. So the next thing we want to do is we're going to start building in the calculations. Before I begin, let's just understand what it is we're trying to do. Once you understand what you're trying to do, it makes it so much easier to do. So if you remember, initially we had a number here, all right, and we put in numbers here so that they added up to a number down here, and then the difference of that number appeared here. So what we want to do is we want to put in, we want to build in some functionality in this very last field right here because we want this field to tabulate all of the fields above it. So that's going to be step one. Okay, let's get started. What I'm going to do is click on this field, right click, go up to properties, and then I'm going to go over to where it says calculate. Now what I want to do is I want to put in the sum of all of these fields right here so that when the number is input, the sum, the total, total expenses, will appear here. So when I go over to say value is the sum, then I click on pick, and then I start, I begin to pick the numbers that I, the, uh, the frames or the form fields that I need to add. And as you can see here, it's text 2.1 going all the way down to text 2.10. So I'll start at text 2.1. There's text 2.1. All right. Uh, and there's text 2.10. It doesn't make a difference which order it's in. Just make sure you have all of them. So we know we have text 2.1. We need to get to text 2.2, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9. And again, text 2.10 is up here. Okay? So we need to know that those, that text 2.11 is going to add from 1 to 10 to give us a total right here. Now watch what happens to this form field when we say OK. Once we say OK, you'll see the information here, and you'll also see a little zero down here. So basically when it closes down, and we know that once we see that zero, we know that the tabulation or the calculation is already in place. We know that this is going to be the sum of all of these, but this frame right here is going to be the difference between this number here and the working cap, the gross working capital at the top. So this field is going to be the difference between this one and this one. So what we have to do is we click on this field because this is going to be the active field that we're going to have to put in the functionality. So once again, we're going to right click, we're going to go to properties, and we get this dialog box. We're still in calculation or calculate, but this is the interesting thing. If you notice, if we say value is the, you see we have sum, we have product, which is multiplication, average, minimum, maximum, but you don't see subtraction. Subtraction is a little different. Subtraction has to go in this field right here. So where we see simplified field notation, we click on edit, and we know that it's going to be the difference between text 2.0 and text 2.11.
So we're going to type in here, and you have to type it in as it appears, but there's one little caveat. Text to, instead of saying to point, you have to put in a backslash. Very, very important. Then the point zero. And then you type in minus, which is like the little hyphen or the dash. Then you'll type in text, T-E-X-T, -T, and you have to type it as it appears. Text down here to backslash point one one. All right, so the equation is text to backslash point zero hyphen, which is your subtraction, text to backslash point one one. We'll say OK. And as you can see, once we said OK, there's the zero right there. So we know we have it right, and we'll close this down. So now we have this form field set up and ready to go. Well, let's test it and see how it works. What we're going to do is click on Preview. And now when we click on Preview, we can now actually test this and see if it does what it needs to do. Now, I'm not going to fill in every single one. I'll just do maybe two or three, just so you can see how this whole thing works. So I'll start off with, and as you can see, once I clicked on that form field, that the cursor popped up on the right-hand side because we said we want this to be flush right. So I'll type in 1000, 1000, and I'll just maybe do the first two. And I'll say 20 here, tab down, 20 here, and as you can see, as I tab down, you'll see 20 and 20 equals 40. 40 from 1,000 is 960. So basically, it's doing what we needed to do. And that's how you can set up an, a simple addition and subtraction in Acrobat Pro.